Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Stray Cats. It plays two to six players, ages 10 and up, and it is for about 20 minutes or so. The game Stray Cats is a rendition of Uno with some interesting laws that are called Paw Laws, and they are going to influence which cards you can play from your hand. You're trying to empty your hand as best as you can, as quickly as you can. If you're the first person to empty your hand, you are the winner of the game. If you can't follow the law, you're gonna have to draw cards from the deck, just like in Uno if you don't have a certain card in order to play, whether it be a number or a color. These ones specifically will change based on the different laws that are available to you. There's multiple laws in the game, and you can also change them depending on the different homes you play and if you're able to like i said end your game by removing cards from your hand you will be the winner let's go ahead and take it down below who wins you has been chosen so here we have Stray Cats, and I went ahead and I'm going to have it set up for two players just to show you how the game functions. Like I said before, it can play up to six. Go ahead and shuffle the Paw Law deck and the Stray Cats deck, and then deal out four Paw Laws face down. Additionally, you're going to get these black and or pink uh, house cards that are going to be flipped when they are chosen. But to begin the game, the first player will simply choose one at random, flip it up, and then have all the Paw Laws flipped up as well. After all the Paw Laws have been flipped up every player is going to draw five cards from the shuffled stray cats deck i'll just go ahead and deal out five real quick to each of the two players that are playing in the stray cats deck you're going to be getting these little uh cat cards and or home cards these cards here are going to basically allow you to switch between the different laws going from one to another based on the different shapes of the homes and if it is the same home so for instance if i switched it to this one here and i switched it again the law would be shuffled back into the deck and a new one would come out i think there's also additionally a card in here that is a little lady card that will switch up the paw laws as well but the game is pretty simple this one says pick two colors only one cat of two colors can enter. So in this case, I would say, okay, um, yellow and blue. In which case, I'll go ahead and say, okay, so I'll go ahead and play this card here. That's a blue cat. And now it is up to uh, the next player. He's gonna go ahead and play a blue card. And then it'll be the next player's turn. And I'll play a blue card. And it'll just keep going like that. Oh no, I don't have a blue card left to play. I have to draw two cards. Then this player over here no longer has any blue cats. So let's go ahead and switch it up by playing this home card that will flip this over as the new chosen card, which is now a new paw law. Odd, a cat with an, uh, a cat with odd numbers can enter this house. So any odd numbered cats can enter the house, in which case it's now this player's turn again. And he's got a 11 card. So he can play that one here. Next player's up and oh, he's got a three, which is an odd card. And then this player here, I'm gonna go ahead and look at it through his hand and he has a five, so he can play that one there. And then finally, bam, this one's played, which is the same one as this one here, which means that this is gonna get shuffled into the deck and a new card is gonna get drawn, which is a new paw law. And in this case, really rather quick game, just to give you the idea, he is now out of cards in his hand, so he would be the winner, or she would be the winner of the game Stray Cats because this player still has cards in their hand. Of course, with more players comes more likelihood of different laws popping up in of course different cards come in your hand having these cards in your hand these little home cards is going to benefit you as well as of course the uh, additional cards in here like the cat lady roams cards but that's pretty much the idea of the game it's a little bit of uno meets specific requirements to enter these specific paw laws based on the houses and of course additional house uh, paw laws that you can actually even write in your own there's some cards that let you choose your own laws so i made up a couple of my own i can play one light or dark uh, pink inner eared cat so there's certain cats that will have inner ears that are pink and this one says cats with even syllable names and each of the cats have their own name so if they have even syllables like two four and six then you can go ahead and play cats as well so having the ability to make your own laws is kind of fun as well that's the basic idea of the game stray cats let's come up and talk about it all right so a couple caveats and the first one is i made a misplay at the end of the game there and i played a home card to end the game but i want to just give you a quick idea a rundown per se of how to play in general if you play a home card or a cat lady as your last card you'll have to draw up to five cards which can be dangerous you want to make sure that you choose the right order in which to play cards generally speaking you want to play a cat last in order to win the game 
stray cats. Makes sense, right? Uh, the, the cat ladies will actually shuffle the laws and deal out new ones. Uh, so I did explain that quite well. And then there's a brawl card as well that can either be canceled by another brawl card if you're trying to play it on a certain player because in general that card will be used to take a card at random from another player's hand. But otherwise, it's the basic idea of the game. There's a ton of cats in the game. They're all going to have their different colors and the colors are going to be these four, which is green, blue, yellow, and red, and they all have their own names. They have their own different types of cats that have different colors on them. They have different, uh, uh, they have different ear colors and all kinds of stuff, which will allow you to make your own paw laws up. This is a game for kids, in my opinion. It's a game uh, for families as well. It gives you an idea, a little bit of an educational twist, because you have to realize that certain cards are going to have certain numbers on them. You can have different laws that require you to play certain cats based on certain requirements. A cat with an odd number can a cat with an odd number can enter this house. A cat with a number greater than or less than seven, or greater than or equal to seven, can enter. Uh, what else? A cat with one digit can enter this house. A cat name which contains a, a letter O can enter this house. So they basically let you look at the cards and kind of study them to determine how you want to play cards in which way. There is a bit of strategy as well in this game, determining which laws you want to interact when you want to play certain home cards to interact with certain laws to benefit your hand and to mess with your opponents as well. It is probably a more strategic version than something like Uno would be considered because that one's a little bit more random and you're just going to play with Whatever you can in that sense. This one here, you're gonna to have to make strategic choices as to when you want to play cards and where you want to play the cards based on the different laws that are available to you. Because sometimes you're gonna be like, okay, I've got three odd cards and I have a home, and right now the card that is letting me play cards down, or the law that's letting me play cards down, is odd. So I can play this odd, odd, odd. But the thing is, I'm gonna be stuck with that home card. So I might have to play two odds and then switch up with a home. Oh, wait, somebody else played a home, and now it's gonna to have to make me go back and play something else. So it has that that kind of back and forth take to it. The game is a lot of fun. I think anybody who's got some kids that like Uno, a more family friendly version of any of these take that games, is going to enjoy this Stray Cats game. There's a bunch of little expansions, there's a little expansion that comes with this game, and I have some other expansions stuff like that that they plan on releasing in the future, which are kind of cool as well, that hopefully we get to talk about. But for the most part, this game stands as it is to a nice addition uh, to something like Uno or those type of games where you're playing cards that will symbolize different colors and numbers and you can kind of even make your own up as well. I enjoyed this game but at the same time it's going to be more for a younger audience so it's something I'm probably not going to play with my playgroup all that much but if you got kids I suggest you take a look at the game Stray Cats currently on Kickstarter. Take a look down below in the link in the description if you're interested in picking up this cute little little kitty game. Come on internet I, I, I know you like cats go ahead and go ahead and take a look. 